the FDA recommends a 15 or higher to prevent skin cancer. And that's the reason why CVS isn't offering anything lower. And dermatologists like Dr. Amina DeLuca don't want you to get burned. If you apply something lower than a 15, you're really not protecting your skin. So first, get the most effective sun protection factor, or SPF. The difference between a SPF 8 and 30 is significant. However, the difference between a 30 and say 100, you can even find 110 products out there now, is marginal. SPF 30 blocks 97% of the big bad UVB rays, while 50 blocks 98. So you can waste your money on the higher stuff if you want to, but it's really not going to help you as much. Okay, so we're covered with UVB, but what about those pesky UVA and infrared rays? All these types of light and rays can contribute to premature aging, wrinkles, sun damage, and even skin cancer. Dr. DeLuca says to look for the words broad spectrum on the bottle. That covers, well, that spectrum of rays. How about non-chemical sunscreens? Next up, there's so much hoopla about mineral versus chemical sunscreens. So there's been some theoretical concerns that chemical sunscreens can be harmful, potentially dangerous because of hormone disruptions. However, there's no current data indicating that it's harmful for human use. So currently we believe that they are safe. Chemical sunscreens absorb UV rays and basically kick them back out to protect you. The mineral sunscreens contain zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. These are physical barriers. They sit on your skin's surface and they reflect the sun's rays. Also good, so is one better than the other? The most important thing is that you're using your sunscreen. Mineral, chemical, just use it. Next, use sunscreen the right way. What am I doing? Oh, I'm uh, just putting on my sunscreen. You know, like mommy does every morning. But how much should we slather on? That's it. That's what you need. You need one shot glass amount or one ounce for your entire body. And another important tip? You should be applying your sunscreen every 90 minutes. Next up, Dr. DeLuca's got a sunscreen secret. There's no such thing as 100% waterproof. It's not completely waterproof. It just stays on your skin a little longer. Some labels will say water resistant for 40 or 80 minutes. So you should be reapplying the 40 every 40 minutes if you're going to be in the pool that whole time, or for the 80 minutes every 80 minutes. And finally, expiration dates. Sunscreen does have an expiration date. So make sure you check the label. If it doesn't have a label, just open it up, write it on the bottle, and throw it away after three years. But really, if you're using enough sunscreen, it shouldn't last you three years. And don't let those clouds fool you. Those UV rays are still penetrating to our surface. So you do need to treat it like any other sunny day and wear your sunscreen. So there you have it. The 411 on Sunscreen 101 is on the top of the list.